a great routine that I like to pair with um, a super intense cardio workout or a super intense quickie workout. Um, it's super short, it's a great routine that does get a little bit of a cardio buzz, but it also really works with your core and also works your hip bum and thighs area. So basically your whole trunk. If you're really short on time, it is really short. So enough out of me, let's get started. Um, we're gonna start with kettlebell swings. If you don't have a kettlebell, which I don't, I'm using a coffee table book. Um, you can also use a laundry detergent bottle, water bottles filled up, something that's gonna be heavy and challenging for you. Take your weight, squat down, touch your opposite ankle, and then swing it up to the other side, down, and swing it up, almost like you're shoveling or tree chopping, I don't know, one of those things, trying to think about something else while you're doing it. Squat down and up and down and up. That's it. Think about how awesome your obliques are toning and shaping as we do this. That's it, let's go for five more. And up, and drive it up. That's it. And three, and down, and two, and down, and one. All right, burning, and we're going right into this big cardio bus. High knees, high arms, 20 reps each side. Five, six, seven, eight. Try to drive those arms up as high as you can. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Right onto the ground. Donkey kicks on your hands and knees. You're going to drive your leg up and over. Up and over, up and over. It might start easy, but I'm telling you, you're gonna really start to feel that burn. The key here is that high, those high number of reps and really drive it up. Squeeze your booty at the top. That's where you're really gonna dig in deep there. Ladies, you want a really high, hot, tight bum lift? This is it. Here's 12, three, two, one. Switch sides and up. Up and over, up and twist it with your leg a little bit. So you're also getting into your obliques here as you, as you drive that leg up and twist it over. I really like these. I like these ones. I'm animal inspired today. Here we go. It feels good to feel how it's working your core too, doesn't it? When you really get that extension in there, you can almost feel things changing and shaping up. Three, two, one. Nice job. We're going back to those kettlebells. We gotta get the other side. We're gonna dig deep and up and down and up, and really reach it down and across your body. Up, down, up, down. This goes to show that you really can do a workout anywhere. You don't need to buy anything. You can put all your money towards your ski vacation weekend or your awesome fashions that go into them. Three, two, one, and we're gonna really work those abs now. That core down on your backside. Legs up to the sky and just lift that bum off the ground and down, lift. Try not to swing your legs up. You really wanna use your core to lift. That's it, that's five. We're going for 15 more. Up, up. You know, it's funny, we plan put so much thought into our outfits, but at the end of the day, a really confident, hot, tight, toned, strong body is gonna look good in anything. That's it. Better to spend your extra hour getting a good sweat on for your health than in the nail salon that's gonna, those nails will chip in a day, that body will last you forever. Here's four, three, Two and one, and we're doing scissors, so those legs are coming down, holding that core tight, and switch. You can just sizzle your legs over, that's it. Whew, you really feel that one. Feel nice and tight in the core. That's it. Keep holding. I know you're tired. If you need to modify, you can take it up here, or again, take it down here. Here's 10 more, nine, Eight, seven, here's six, finish it. 
four, three, two, one. We're going right into bicycle crunches with the Turkish get up. So it's four crunches. So shoulder, opposite knee, opposite knee, opposite knee, opposite knee. Then you lay back and try with no hands to get all the way up, stand it up. If you need to modify, you can absolutely use your hand or cross your legs to get up. So touch, 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 lay it down and get up. You can add a little jump if you want. That's it. We're going to do three more just like that. One, two, three, four, lay it down, get up. The more you practice these, the better you'll get and soon you won't even have to use any kind of modification to get up. Trust me, everyone that has tried these has said the same thing. At first they couldn't do them. They look a lot easier than they are. But then, after a lot of practice, able to impress themselves. I promise you, if I told you some of my family members that said they couldn't do them at first and now can, you'd believe that you could do them too. All right, that was one round. We're gonna do that whole thing one more time. So grab your quasi kettlebell and squat down. Here we go, up and over. Squat down, throw it up, squat down. You can really feel it in the obliques as you do it. You can follow that kettlebell with your eyes. Six, up. Up. You can blare some music in your living room, in your dorm room, in your bedroom, in your office. Have some fun with this. One more down. Awesome job. All right, we're going into a high knees, high arms. That's it for this one. Really get your heart rate up. Use your core. It's a lot harder than running. You could hold your arms up to modify. You don't have to put your arms up. That's it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, let's do it, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ah, nice and breathless. On that, on that cardio buzz, down to the ground, and let's donkey kick it out. Again, it's kind of cool, right? You go from a intense cardio to a body weight strength and toning, so while your body is recovering in one way, it's also still working. This is the best way to get efficient results. That's it. The only way to really see change is to make change happen yourself. Do something different. Change equals change. I hope that doesn't sound too horny. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comment section below. Three, two, one, and switch sides so it's up and over. I like to try to figure out what to tell myself during workouts and I like to hear what you guys tell yourselves because you never know what you hear that's going to resonate and motivate you. It's incredible. There are certain lines that will forever stick out in my head that someone has mentioned or that I've read that always stick out. I share them with you because that might resonate with you but I like to hear, I like to hear yours too. Here's three more. Two more. One more down. Let's get those kettlebells on the other side. So take it and drop and reach. Squat down, twist, reach up. Squat down, twist, and up. The more weight that you have, the more challenging this is going to be as well. So if you pick up a really heavy weight, you're going to be really breathless. Everything's going to be burning even more. So don't don't cheat yourself here. If you're a beginner, start start somewhere, but you know, get out of your comfort zone. Challenge yourself. That's what it's all about. Surprise yourself. Three, two, and one, and down. And we're gonna finish off with our last few core moves here. So legs on the ground. And pick that bum off the ground and up. We're getting really hardcore into those lower abdominals here. Try not to swing too much. Really use that core to pick your bum off the ground. That's it. 
take a moment to really feel what you're feeling. Feel the burn in your abdominals. Here's six more and up and up and four, three, two, one. You know what comes next? Lower the legs and scissors. Don't think about it, just do it. Just get right into it. This is tough. I know you're probably burning. You probably wanna throw me out the window, but I promise you'll like me at the end when you're all done and you're feeling spelt and sexy. Hopefully you'll like me more. Right now it's okay. Just embrace the pain. It means you're alive and well. Here's 10, nine, eight straight legs if you can, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last move. Bicycles into a Turkish get up. One, two, three, four. Lay it down and stand it up. And down and one, two, three, four. Down and stand it up. And here we go. One, two, three, four, down, stand it up. All right, we're almost there. Almost there, let's do this. Finish it strong together. Think about, think about that awesome ski weekend gets you through. Think about something you really are looking forward to and wanna feel great about, feel your best, and let that propel you forward. Up and, all right guys, that's the finish line, that's a wrap. That is your two rounds workout. I, again, pair this with an intense cardio or a quickie workout. Um, if you don't have a lot of time, then you know this is a great, really nice, quick little workout that you can do that'll make you feel better all day long, that'll keep everything in check, keep that metabolism high, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to join me in the Facebook, Twitter community so that we can converse all the time. See you guys later, bye guys.